Hi, today we're going to be taking on Boss from Beulah at Hasbro's Beyblade Burst Booster Pack Yegon D09 TS03. The Stammer Type Bay. So let's see if we can get the camera to focus here. There we go. Actually, let's. So, attack one, burst two, defense one, weight four, agility three, stamina eight, berryburst.com, Hasbro, D White, Sunlight, Stereo BBA, all that stuff. So, yeah, let's get this on bots here. I'm trying to figure out how this one gets on bots because usually stories they have like a little extra flap on there to unbots them. This one, nope. So this is the uh, pre evolved form of Yegon. Which is weird, they first started off with, you know, the evolved form of Yegon, and then they come out in just a booster pair of the unevolved. You'd think that, you know, the unevolved would be a start because that is a start of that the evolved one would be, you know, a booster. Or another starter, but no. So, yeah, and how you can tell the difference between, you know, the first form and then the evolved form? The screws, you know. First form, the screws are on the inside. Second for evolved form, they're on the top. And then, you know, the lettering. This has nothing, this has the Y for Yegon. Which is kind of cool and stuff. So there's the QR code for Yegon. And then our Force Disc has R on there for Wing. And finally, our Performance Tip or Driver is Spike. No, Edge. It's Edge. But it's kind of funny. The little top here kind of looks like a little Triton, almost. If we left it, right there, looks like a little Triton, but it's Edge. So we have Yegon, Wing, Edge. So that's how it looks when it's all done. And it only has uh, two stars on the forged disc. And of course, you get the stretching sheet, little booklet. So uh, let's see how it spins. Three, two, one, let it whip! It actually, it spins pretty fast. If you listen, you can kind of hear that it's making full-on contact with the bottom of the base stadium. And you kind of hear a little bit of that swirling and whisper sound. That's how you know a bay is good, because... Personally, my favorite bay of the Plastic Gen generation was Dritter. It was a stammer type, and it was better. The best bait. Dracyl was okay. Um, Dragoon, not that much. 
probably maybe, I don't know, about the same as Dracil. Dracil, yeah, it was a balanced type, but, which usually that's what I go for nowadays, a balanced type, but, uh, then the press gen, you know, days, yeah, Dritter. Dritter was like the best one, you know, owned by way. I mean, that bag could spin less spin, then it would stop as it spin, switch around, spin, white spin. So, I mean, it was a white spin bay. Then, you know, it stop and switch and spin left, go to a left spin bay. Then it would automatically switch back to a white spin bay. I mean, I bet with it on the streets. You know how you're supposed to bet on, you know, the base stadium or some people on ice and, you know, things like that. I was betting, like, actually on the sidewalk and on asphalt, like, blacktop and stuff. So the performance tip took a good beating, but it still kept on spinning. Now, if you compare that performance tip to the performance tip of Downforce from Dark Work for the Metal Saga, that tip just, oh, man. Dark Wolf's tip is sweated. And I was only using Dark Wolf in Bay Stadiums. The other one, uh, Dritter, I mean, I was using it everywhere. On the streets, on the floor, on walls, asphalt, you know. It had a metal tip, too. So, you know, that thing's going to be uneven damage. And, I mean, the plastic one, yeah, actually took more damage than the metal one. Yeah, go figure. But yeah, I mean, just because of how this base spins and stuff, it kind of reminded me of that. So yeah, that has been the unboxing review of Hasbro's Beyblade Burst Booster D09 TS03 Yegon Wing Edge. Remember to subscribe and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.